If you have a Shopify store and you want to change your email to have your domain name at the very end, like support at your domain name.com, and you want to do it for free, then this is the video that you need to see. So before everybody has been using Google Workspace, but Google Workspace, you have to pay at least $7 per month per user for it. But Zoho allows you to do it for free. And I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. So right now I'm in my Shopify store and this is a brand new store. I just started for the purposes of this video. All you got to do on the bottom left, go to settings, go to where it says domains. All right. And then let's buy a new domain. So this example will be for people who have their domain within Shopify itself. So let me go ahead and get a new domain to buy. Uh, I'm going to call it VixTutorials.shop. It's not .com. I can do .com, but I think .com is $16 a year. .co is $33 a year, but let's do .shop. Gone are the days where you always have to do .com. You can do .shop and get away with it. Click on buy. And then from here, I'm actually going to buy this domain within Shopify. And then redo it again. Go back, go forward, and then redo it again. And the other thing to make sure as well is if you're just trying this out, make sure that you uncheck this auto renew every year and it shows when it's going to expire. That's fine. But if you think you're going to have it for a long time, then check it. But I'm not going to have it for a long time. I'm just doing this as a test. All right, click on buy domain. And if you get an error over here, you actually have to go back and then redo it again. Go back, go forward, and then redo it again. All right, so let me actually uncheck auto renew and then let me just buy this domain. What? A few moments later. All right, so I'm going to use Vix Tutorial, uh, Vix Tutorial Shop.com. So let me use that. All right, cool. So it's good. You can also use dot shop if you want, but I'm going to do dot com and call that one a day. So click buy. I'm going to uncheck auto renew every year. I'm going to uncheck that, put my information in, and make sure to click buy domain. All right, let me click buy domain. Okay, so the domain name has been purchased. So it says complete domain registration by following the instructions and the purchase confirmation. All right, so now let me actually confirm this purchase. So verify my information, then I need to approve that. So click that. All right, so I need to verify this. I am definitely doing that. All right, so I'm verified. So now if I was to go back to settings on the bottom left and then click on domains, to show the list of domains right here. And this is the domain that it came with the store. Let's do victorials.shop. Basically what happened was that as I was recording this video, one of the domains that I have, this is victorials.shop, it said it didn't work. So then I went ahead and got victorialshop.com and actually the Victorials shop worked. So there's a www and then there's a non www and then there is a non www of victorialshop.com and then a www of victorialshop.com. So if you're a little confused and all that, no worries. It is pretty weird. Shopify is doing some weird stuff. But anyway, I am going to do victorial.shop. I'm going to click this. I'm going to make this the primary domain. I'm going to go to change domain type. And then I would go to primary domain and then click change domain type. So the primary domain of the store is VixTutorial.shop. But that's not why you're here. You are here to connect this with Zoho. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So you want to go open a new window and go to Zoho.com. And then once you do that, you want to go to mail on the right side. I'm going to quickly go through this. Click on pricing on the top. I do have a video showing how to set all this up. I'm going to set it up right now very quickly. Then on this page, scroll down and make sure that you see a section that says forever free plan. Now, some countries don't have that. If a country doesn't have this, make sure you mention that. But in the United States, there is a forever free plan. We can have up to five users for free. Click on sign up now and it's going to show me this right here. So I'm going to call this VIX tutorial store. All right. And I'm going to put an email address and this would be your email that you will always access. You can definitely use that right here and then make sure you add a password. So then it's going to ask you for a OTP, which means a one time password. So go ahead and go to the email and get that password. Enter that password right there. Click verify. All right, so now that I'm here, so what I want to do is an add an existing domain. So click on add an existing domain on the left side. And the domain I have was VixTutorial.shop.shop. And then I'm going to say VixTutorialShop. That's going to be the name of my store. And then I'm going to make sure that this is e-commerce or retail. They go retail to e-commerce. All right. Click Add Now. 
So what it's doing right now is that Zoho is just putting a new domain in their system. But the next thing now is that Zoho, so if I click on domain verification, so now Zoho needs to verify that we actually own this. So I need to add a TXT record in the DNS. DNS means domain name system. It's like a big phone book of all domain names. And so they need to make sure that I own this. So to add a TXT in Shopify, which is what you're here for, you wanna go and do the host, leave it blank or do the at. Let me go ahead and right click that, copy. And what I'm gonna do right here is I'm actually gonna do a split screen so you can see both sides. On Shopify, you wanna go to your settings and then you wanna go to domains. You wanna go to the domain that you have. That's the one likely without the www. Click that on the top right, look for where it says domain settings, and then you wanna to go to edit DNS settings, edit DNS settings, all right? And then these are all the records that you want to update. So what you wanna update actually is your TXT record. You actually wanna add one. You wanna click on add custom record, go to TXT record, and then your name should be the at, like that. And then the value on Zoho is just click and copy that. Go to value right there and then paste, hit confirm. Boom. And as you can see, it added right there. That's where it added. And let me actually move my face so you can be able to see this much better. Okay, so now click on verify TXT record. Now this may take anywhere between 30 seconds to about a minute or two. So go ahead and click that. It's likely not going to work. That's, that's no problem. Just give it about 30 seconds to about a minute or two and it's going to work. So I'm gonna come right back. All right, so I'm back. So let me make sure that it works. All right, so I'm good to go. It is verified that I do own this domain. So now I need to get a email. So this is what I'm gonna do for free. So I'm going to say support. So since this is a Shopify store, I'm gonna say support at vixtutorials.shop. Get create. And this now makes me the super administrator of the store. All right, so that's me right there. I am good to go. So now I am a user and this allows up to five different users for free. So I can have a support, I can go to add and there can be an info. I can have one of my names. So Victor at victutorials.shop. I can do any one of these. But for right now, I'm gonna go on the bottom right and click on proceed to set up groups. So basically this group section, if you have a lot of people that is like four or five users, you can group them if you want to, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go to proceed to DNS mapping. And this part is very, very important. If you don't do this, then the emails to and back from Zoho will not work. So you have three MX records, one SPF record and one DKIM record. I'm gonna work with you right now to show you how to do this. So the first thing is MX. So once again, we're back on Shopify, make sure you are in your domain section, then click your domain name. So right here, I'm gonna click on add custom record and I'm gonna say MX. The name is going to be the host, which is at, and then points to, which is the value you wanna to click to copy that. All right, click paste, and then priority is 10. All right, confirm. We're going to go back to the top right, add custom record, MX record. A host is the at symbol once again. So name at symbol, and then it points to this value. So let me go ahead and click this. So it points to that. And then my priority is 20. So, oh, what's going on? Okay, I may have to scroll up. All right, click confirm. And then the third one, host is at. So go to add custom record, MX record. Host is at. Then the value is that right there. And then the priority is 50. Okay, so once that is done, then let me do the SPF value. From here, let me go to add custom record. Let me do a TXT record. And then from here, the host, which is the name, is another at symbol. That is shift number two on your keyboard. And then text your TXT value, go back here. You wanna click on view SPF value. You're gonna click the first one. However, if you look on the Shopify's TXT values, if you see one that has SPF already included in there, you wanna do the second one, but just do the first one, call it a day, and then go ahead, right click, paste, and then click confirm. Now you have that right there, perfect. You wanna do another TXT record. So SPF and DKIM, it helps protect your email from spanner from spammers. I can't say that right. So one more record, TXT record, but the name on this one is going to be this right here. So 
go ahead and click to copy right click paste and then go over here click to copy that right click paste that is that so everything is automatically saved click on verify all records and let's see what happens all right the spf and dkim records are good the mx records are taking a little bit for it to propagate so i'm going to wait until that finishes maybe that'll take about five minutes and then i'm all done one minute 37 seconds later all right so i'm back so one of the things i forgot to do is on this mx record right here you want to remove the first one remove that click on remove. Okay, so now that that's removed, I can come back here and now click verify all records. There we go. So now all records have been verified successfully. All right, so then click on proceed to email migration. And this shows how to do data migration in your emails. But for now, I'm gonna skip that. And there's a place where you can download your thing for mobile and use that. I do have another video showing you how to do that. Right now, I'm gonna skip this and go to setup completion. Right now, I'm in the admin console and I am good to go. So right now, I'm going to get out of here. And this is my Zoho account that I have. So I can actually take this out the way. But before I do that, one of the things that's really nice is if I go to notifications and Shopify right here, I can now put in the email that I have, the new one, which is support at vixtutorial.shop. That's the premium one. So I can definitely send that here right now and then save that. Then I have to confirm I have access to this email. So I got to go to mail.zoho.com and open up the email. But before I do that, all you got to do right here is this is the dashboard for the admin. So if you're the admin, this is the dashboard. And if you want to add users, you can go to users on the left side and add more users to your team. And that is it. And to check your emails, just go in your address bar and type in mail.zoho.com. When you type in mail.zoho.com, it will take you to Zoho Mail right here. Let me skip this on the bottom right. Now it shows mail.shopify.com, verify your email address. Go in and click that and I need to verify my email. And now that my email is, uh oh. Yeah, so now that my email is verified, I just gotta re-log back in and I am good to go. All right, so I am good to go. And then it says domain authentication for this email that's pending. It can take up to 24 hours. Review configuration. This is to authenticate your email. And yes, it can take up to 24 hours for reals, but you are good to go. You can even click on authenticate email. But yeah, it takes up to 24 hours. Once that happens, the emails going back and forth through Shopify will be using this email, which is much better than what was being used before. And that is it. So now, if you wanna go ahead and configure your Zoho account to make sure that it works just like Google, I do have a video showing how to do that and it will be right over, right over here. So go ahead and click this video when it appears and it will show you how to configure your Zoho account. So make sure you check that out. My name is Victor. Make sure you like this video so it can be shown to more people. And now you've connected your Shopify domain to Zoho.